encuadrador de Tlalpan ha atacado nuevamente. ¡Es tres hermanas muertas! ¡Y no me quiero nada! ¡Nosotros tenemos que morir más y parte! Vamos a abrir nuestras puertas no soy tuya. para que cualquier mujer que desee se pueda unir a la policía del Distrito Federal. Hi, I'm Sofia Jessica, and this is Angel, and welcome to the fan carpet. How's everyone doing? Hi, how are you? Hi. We're doing good. Excellent. Um, so, was there a defining moment for you both to get into the industry? A, a defining moment to get into the industry? Yeah, to be actresses. Ah, to be actresses. Mm -hmm. um, well, in my case, it's a very strange story because, you know, it may be uh, different uh, for, for than, than most people. My parents uh, work in the industry, and my dad is a filmmaker, uh, director, producer, and my mom's a screenwriter. Um, so, you know, it's it's been something that I've that I've had um, very, very close, that I've lived very closely through my childhood. Um, I started very young. I was a child actress since I was seven years old. And um, so, yeah, I mean, I've kind of been doing it my whole life. So um, I started very young. Um, ¿Qué fue la pregunta? Que como un punto de, como de quiebre en tu carrera, o sea, para, para ser actriz, pues, o sea. Well, for me, it was <clears throat> strange also because uh, I grew up in a family very uh, it would, with a very um, difficult times when I was a child. Uh, no mom and a vi very violent father. So I really grew up believing that I was not worthy. I was not worthy enough and I don't value and I don't deserve anything good in life till one day I was um, working as a waitress and I saw uh, a person who invited me to to do commercials. So I started doing commercials and I started having the camera like paying attention to me and I was like, okay, this I like, so I wanna become an actress. Then I become an actress and through my characters, I really could heal some in some way my childhood. And that's how I become an actress. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, brilliant. So um, what was it about um, Les Azules um, that made you want to be involved? And what do you look for in a project to get involved in? Yeah, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> first of all, I I was really looking forward to work with my husband. My husband is Fernando Robsar, who is the director, the writer, the showrunner, and uh, and a lot of more. <laughs> and so we were we were wanting to work together for so long. So that was one thing. And the other thing was that I I found very inspiring these these true events that happens with these women who I think set the foundations for the women who are today police officers and they carry firearms and and they also, you know, speak and stand out for women at that time when where they were working at the police station with the male colleagues that they were very harsh on them. So for me, it's a very inspired story. And I always look forward to working projects that has this kind of meaning in society. Okay. Yeah, I mean, for awesome. me, it was also very, um, uh, obviously, uh, a, an amazing project to be a part of. Um, the story was very inspiring. My character was very challenging. So, um, you know, I, I, I felt it was a good challenge as an actress to take. Um, and the same as Barbara, you know, I, I, I want stories that move me that, um, in, and also that, that I know the, the production is going to be enjoyable because I think the process needs to be something, um, fun and something, uh, inspiring and creative and challenging. And, and this series had, had it all in that sense. Awesome. Um, and just finally, what are you hoping audience will take away from the series when they see it? Uh, well, I think that um, uh, it's, it's 
people are going to reflect a lot um, as to what these women had to face um, in the 70s, but specifically that how women are still facing um, similar issues today um, because, you know, we're, we still live in a highly sexist world and, um, and women have to uh, make do with what they have and um and and i think um yeah i mean a lot of a lot of things have changed but a lot of things have stayed kind of the same um specifically in mexico you know feminicides we we have a a severe feminicide crisis in this country um and so i i really hope that people reflect on on that uh part and i think also this series is invites us all to discover our true self and not just what society has allowed us to be awesome well thank you very much i'll speak to you again soon take care thank you for watching the fan carpet please follow us on facebook x and instagram for more content bye for now ¿Qué busca el encuadrador? Castigar a sus víctimas. Justicia pertina. Va a volver a matar. Ahora, a trabajar. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.